What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Crystal, a.k.a. Serenity1225, here from the beautiful islands of the Bahamas with yet another fragrance review, another perfume review. And today I'm going to be reviewing this EDT right here. This is the French Connection UK Forever Intense for her. And um, a few videos ago, well, several videos ago when I got this, I was pronouncing it Fook because I'm just dirty like that. I was trying to curse or whatever. So I, I was doing some research on it and it's basically FC UK, French Connection UK. And um, I purchased this on May 2nd, 2022 from perfumebox.com and I paid $11.50 for it. This is the 3.4 ounce. And um, I went on Amazon this morning to get an idea of how much it would cost on Amazon. And the FC UK Forever Intense for her on Amazon was $17.60 for the 3.4 ounce EDT. It has a 4.2 out of 5 stars on Amazon. I also went on Walmart just to, you know, see if they had it and how much it would cost. Walmart had this motherfucker for $29.12 for the 3.4 ounce EDT. That's crazy. I paid $11.50. Okay, so let me just get into the brief description that was on the product page. This oriental woody fragrance has a blend of lotus, bergamot, lily of the valley, jasmine, violet, peony, musk, sandalwood, Virginia cedar, and amber. It was launched by the design house of French Connection UK. Um, it says that it's recommended for casual wear. Yada, yada, yada. Listen, there isn't a whole lot of information online for this fragrance. So, um... I, I don't have a whole spiel to give you guys, a whole encyclopedia on this product, on this fragrance. But I will say that it does has a few um, notes that I identify as uh, fragrance notes that I love in my, my fragrance for my DNA, my perfume DNAs. One of which is bergamot. Uh, I love anything that has musk in it sandalwood and amber those are part of my perfume dna that i like and those types of um, nuances those types of um smells and and what do they call it notes notes those are a few of the notes that i love in my fragrances so at the time that i bought this which was may of this year i couldn't really say to you explicitly oh I love sandalwood and I love this and I love that but now that I've become a Middle Eastern whore for Middle Eastern fragrances by way of the house of Latafa I do love these notes in my perfumes my perfumes well this is not a perfume this is an EDT so Okay, let me get into smelling it. As you can see, it's almost gone. And really and truly, I use this perfume as a body spray. I do not use this perfume as a standalone uh, fragrance for me to wear. Um, I just like to layer stuff. But because this is, this is an EDT, I don't feel like it was going to have longevity and projection on my skin. So I treated it like... It was a uh, a body spray so let me just spray it on camera and I'll give you guys my thoughts okay we have a generous spray oh okay 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 get that back in there okay I see what you did there F FC UK I see what you people tried to do there Okay. I'm going to let it dry down a little bit. So we can get into the dry down of it all, people. 
but okay. I don't know how I feel about FC UK Forever Intense. I'm trying to formulate an opinion as I'm recording this. And I'm, I'm kind of stupefied because I don't know if I like it or I hate it. So I'm just going to wait for another two seconds to let it dry down. One good thing I will say about it is... It does not have an alcohol opening because sometimes you get these perfumes and the first thing you smell is alcohol and that's not what I smelled when I sprayed it. I don't I don't get the the vibe that it's intense. It uh, it does have a very um, subtle masculine undertone to it. So I am getting a lot of florals. I'm getting lotus. I'm getting lily of the valley. I'm getting the violet. I'm getting the peony. I think this is becoming very floral to me. It's supposed to be an oriental, but it just smells like a floral perfume. I'm not really getting those notes that would stand out to me which would be the musk and the sandalwood and the amber and i really wanted to overstand this virginia cedar listen this on my chemistry this is already starting to disappear now i don't know if my the pores on my skin they just be big as hell and just be absorbing all of the perfumes but this isn't really standing out to me as something that I would describe as intense. It's kind of, it's not intense at all. It's almost lightweight to me, to my nose. I'm not an officiato. I'm a novice in this perfume collecting game. The opening was the best of it. You know, it's like it started off with a bang and then it went and it started to fizzle out. So this isn't really... I can see why uh, I was able to get it for $11.50 on perfumebox.com. Um, Walmart has it for almost $30. I would not spend $30 for this perfume. This is definitely a $10, $12, $11 perfume, in my opinion. I'm realizing that I don't care for EDTs. So moving forward, as I continue to collect perfumes, I only want the EDPs. I don't want the EDTs. I want the Ps. To me, the, the Ps are definitely stronger. They have more projection. They have more longevity. The toilet, the, the Edu toilets, they don't last long on my skin. And right now, I'm still smelling it as I'm talking to you, you know, as I'm recording this video. And I'm struggling to smell this fragrance. It doesn't wow me. It doesn't blow me away. I'm not excited by it. I'm not about to get up and twerk because it smells that good. I'm not going to, you know, sing hallelujah. No, I'm not going to do any of that because I'm just not impressed with this and i think that's the reason why now looking back in retrospect i was using it like it was a body cream i mean a body spray this would never be a standalone fragrance for me it's too light for me i don't know why they uh i don't know they said th those people said that this was intense boo bitch this is not intense not for me not on my skin it's a hell to the no to the no 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 to the motherfucker. No, no. I would not recommend the French Connection UK Forever Intense. Uh, the EDT. I would not recommend it as a standalone perfume. I will recommend it as a body spray. 
because that's what it's giving to me right now. It's giving body spray. So $11.50, yes, it's worth it as a body spray. That's actually cheaper than the the fine fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works. Like Bath and Body Works has gone up to like, I don't know, $16, $17 for their, their body sprays. So for me, this would be ideal as a body spray because it's affordable at $11.50. And then you do get 3.4 ounces. But I'm not impressed with it. I'm not blown away. There isn't anything that stands out. And I'm, I can say, oh my God, this is so spectacular. Oh my God, this is not. It's not spectacular, darling. And there's nothing about it that screams, this is for Crystal. And I'm a little disappointed by it. So I will continue using it as a body spray. Um, I don't recommend it. This would not be a repurchase. I think I only got it because it was so cheap. Um, but this is basically only going to be a body spray. Anyway, people, that's my time with this review for the FC UK Forever Intense Perfume completely you can see that it's on my skin but i can't smell it bitch i can't smell it no more it's very light too floral it's not for me it's not for the kid yo listen that's my time people i hope everybody's staying safe out there so i'll see you guys in my next video here we go Ooh. peace